Chillin' Short Fit One here and welcome back to another Hot Mess Kitchen. Today, if you guys have not seen the title or read the thumbnail, today we are making a classic Christmas dish that I have been wanting to try out for about two years now. Is Elf Breakfast Spaghetti. Now, I'm a little skeptical. I don't think this is going to taste very good, so we're going to use a smaller portion of spaghetti, mainly because I don't want to waste a whole lot of food. But let's get started. Here are all the ingredients from the actual recipe itself. In the movie, we see that he uses M&Ms. They are not the colors that he uses. I tried to look for red and green, but they just, I couldn't find them. And then also colorful marshmallows. I couldn't find those either, so I just got regular marshmallows. And then we've got spaghetti. I've only got a little bit in there because I don't want to waste too much food. I feel like that might trigger some people, but also it's just incredibly wasteful in case I don't like it. And then I've got the, they said to get the fudge chocolate pop tarts. I don't even like pop tarts, so that's going to be an adventure. And then of course we've got chocolate syrup. And then because I wanted to go so much for the brand, I actually got Elf 20th Anniversary Butterworth Syrup. So yeah, that cost me like $4, so I hope it's worth it. And not to mention, if I was gonna commit to the bit, I have to commit to the bit, right? Okay, so the first step is gonna be obviously boiling the pasta and making the spaghetti which I don't know that I really need to show you guys because everybody has made spaghetti at some point. You put it in a pot and you boil it for 10 minutes. Spaghetti, how much spaghetti do you guys actually use? Because I either make too much or too little. I can never seem to find it in between. All right, here we go. It's time for the spaghetti. Probably should have broken that up. Okay, I definitely should have broken up this freaking pasta because this thing just will not get in the freaking pot. Every time I break it down, it just keeps rolling back over again. For 10 minutes. I had my thumb in the shot the whole time. Okay, so it's finally in. So now we set the timer for 10 minutes. Oh shit. It always boils over. I always freak out because I put way too much water or not enough water. It's the whole making spaghetti for me is a balancing act. It's either you make it right or you screw up the whole time. Back at it with the action cam. We officially have made our pasta. Now it's time to drain it. We officially have everything we need. We got the spaghetti. We've got these. We've got everything. The only thing I forgot to mention to you guys is that the recipe also actually calls, calls for tomato paste. I don't have that. So I think that this is kind of the same thing. It's just regular sauce. I didn't heat it up, which probably isn't the best option, but I didn't really want to cook another thing. So I'm just going to put some of that. Got that going. Mm-hmm. And the pasta's hot, so like it'll, it'll warm it up. Um, okay, so what should we start with next? We've got the syrup, we've got the Pop-Tart. What does he start with? I, I don't know. I think he adds the marshmallows later and the syrup is probably already in there. So then we've got gonna be so freaking unhealthy okay we've got the chocolate syrup which I cannot I swear to you it's like a, a literal crime to put this on this freaking spaghetti oh my god I'm so upset I'm wasting a perfectly good thing of spaghetti what else does he put marshmallows the M&Ms and the pop-tart let's save the pop-tart for last because that's gonna be the messiest no well, this is top grade syrup so let's get it on here get it all on that spaghetti and I want to mention for people who like that's really unhealthy. I'm sorry, but this is one dish uh, like out of the whole year. It's it's fine. Not like diabetic or anything. It's not gonna kill me. It's fine. This is absolutely disgusting though. <laughs> to be honest, it looks kind of cool, but it's absolutely just does not look appetizing at all. The only thing I can smell is the sauce and the chocolate. Like that's all I can smell. Um. Okay. Now. You know, the worst part is, is that I feel like people are going to be, should I mix it with my hands? Probably not. Okay, so marshmallows, get a little bit of that on there. Mm, yes, I'm kind of making this dish out of a lot of things I don't like. I'm just going to put a lot on there because it's kind of what he does. So, so far we've got that. And then the last thing, because I think we've added everything, the m ms the syrup, put a helping of syrup on there. Um, tomato paste marshmallows we did and then chocolate so now here comes I'm so upset because I don't want to add the freaking pop-tart I'm telling you right now I hate pop-tarts I feel like people overhype them 
Okay, these don't smell too bad, but I'm gonna tell you right now, chocolate and spaghetti does not sound like a damn good cup of tea to me. Okay, let's just smush it. Let's just, cause I'm gonna have to wash my hands like a son of a gun after this anyway. I don't know how I'm gonna turn off my camera, but that's my after this problem. So we're gonna crush this up on here. Get that a going. I'm actually really excited. Look at how this turned out. Like this is the genuine artifact of like the spaghetti. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's drip. The sauce, I literally just saw the sauce become a liquid. Oh my Lord. Okay. The real test um, is whether or not it is good. Which I'm gonna guess is no. But let's give it a shot. Let's get some mixture in here because because I feel like maybe if I mix it and I close my eyes and I pretend it's not there, maybe it'll taste better. That spaghetti smells literally phenomenal, but it's everything on top of it that doesn't look good. Lord. Okay. This is going to look really unattractive too because it's not cut very well. My first genuine time trying breakfast spaghetti right now. Let's do it. Oh God, this spaghetti's cold. Um, okay, so I really enjoyed the spaghetti up until it hit the, hit the chocolate point. I swear, all I tasted after that was M&M and Pop-Tart, because it mixes in with the sauce. I might throw up. Okay. Oh, is that just all the Pop-Tart? Because I guess all I taste is the chocolate, and I... I don't know if it's the Pop-Tart, because it has to be, because everything else tastes like normal. Like, the M&M's taste like M&M's, but why is that combination so gross? It's genuinely changing colors, which is kind of cool. Like, we got some green in there. But honestly, I don't know. I don't know how to rate this. Like, it's not horrible at first, and then it gets worse as it stays in your mouth. So all in all, what do I think of the spaghetti? Well, I think it's safe to say that I enjoyed making it. I enjoyed getting to see the dream come alive. I enjoyed getting to see an actual dish that I've seen for years on the big screen become a reality. Would I eat it again? No, no I wouldn't. Like I said, if you wanna try the recipe, I'll put it um, in the description. But honestly, it, it doesn't, here's the thing, it doesn't get bad right away. It tastes just like normal spaghetti with a little bit of sweetness just in the beginning, but then it gets really nasty near the end. And I think that for sure is the chocolate syrup and the, not toaster strudel, the Pop-Tart. I think that's purely the Pop-Tart and chocolate syrup flavors that are the bad part because that with everything else just doesn't work. But yeah, so I had fun. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are having a great holiday. And I'm so sorry this video took so long. I have had no motivation to get this video done. It is because I just, I kept buying the ingredients and then I was like, I don't know if I can do this. I hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday season, whatever you celebrate. Hope you're having a great time and you're staying warm and you're taking care of yourself. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, be sure to leave a like on the video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for staying awesome. And until next time, guys, bye.